Hi guys, Dragon Warrior Reviews here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Mexico Alien Big Chap figure from Alien. The reason why I bought this is because I saw it in a convention um, in Milton Keynes. By the way, I was going to record that convention, but I just felt like there was too many people, too much noise, and I couldn't use this phone where I, where I can edit. My other phone, I can't really edit until I get a new Samsung phone because of storage, blah, 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 blah. And it was really cool. There's some really cool stuff there, but I found this and I was like, I kind of want it because, you know, you get the Big Chop Alien 112 scale and you get a load of accessories. Also, when I bought it, I had a little look on the review and I think this is definitely one of the most accurate Big Chop Aliens you have done. Like the mouth is more accurate. Mecha has a thing with the joints being terrible, like my big, big one. Uh, the leg is in a weird position where you can't move it, it's bent in a stupid way, uh, the joints are weak because when you try and repose them sometimes they're weak and stuff, or they get weak over time. And also another thing with big chaps is their domes sometimes come misty, for example with my big one um, it came half misty dome and half clear where you can see the skull. And then with my other little one, it's completely misty. I'm hoping with Mexico here, I get a completely a proper um, dome where I can see the skull inside. And also NECA are going to make an alien Romulus alien as well. And also Hot Toys, you think, are going to. Uh, hopefully, I will be picking both of those up when they are eventually released. So anyway, this box really reminds me of Hot Toys. And it's got that weird packaging on it. And it sort of has that similar shape. So let me just get the packaging of this. And let's take a closer look at the box. All right, on the front of the box here, we have a picture of the Big Chup Alien himself in green. By the way, I love this artwork. It looks incredible. Here we, it says Alien. And no and in space, no one can hear your scream, which is awesome. And then down here, 112. And yeah, more information here. On the top it says alien and on the sides here we've got the picture of the alien here and an egg where you i think that says face hugger sort of cold up in the egg that's really really awesome and then on the other side it is the exact same and then on the back here we have it shows the accessories the chest bust of the face hugger the cold up fit this face hugger where i think you can put this on a figure's a 112 figure's face you get some you get some switch out um in a jaws, one covered in acid, one open and one closed. Here's a picture of the figure here, looking really, really cool. You get some remove, you get some switch out hands, um, and this is meant to represent um, that sort of, sort of where Ripley shot the uh, big chap in the movie with the harpoon gun. And also here we got an, you get an open egg and a closed egg with it. A interesting display base. Uh, probably not really going to use that. And down here, some awesome artwork pictures. As you can see, I really like this. Um, Look at that, a closer look at that sort of face with the dome, uh, with the skull through that, and a really cool pose. All right, my first impressions of this figure, it looks awesome. So before we get into this, yes, I uh, when I opened the box, I, I was a bit impatient because I wanted to see the domed face, and I sort of pulled it a bit too hard, and uh, one of his inner mouths are in there. It doesn't really matter. Um, by the way, this is so Hot Toys-like. Like, there's no seal on the top of this box. There's no, like, really annoying necker sort of packaging where you have to, like, use your uh, sort of scissors to cut the cords. It's just so... It's just the most Hot Toys-like, blooming non-Hot Toys figure I've owned in a while. Oh, this is rubber. Look at this. I hope this doesn't deteriorate over time, though. That feels very organic, man. Look at that. This could possibly be the best alien Big Chat figure ever done. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Usually I don't record my complete first impressions, but I really wanted to this time because I really didn't know what to expect. My goodness, this is going to be definitely the best Big Chap Alien ever made. Even better than the Hot Toys one because the Hot Toys one wasn't really like that accurate. Um, I really hope when NECA make their Alien Romulus Alien, um, you, there's no chance of getting like a Misty Dome version because it looks really, really cool. I don't know if I like the, the sort of like the design of the big chap more or the alien Romulus alien. We're not talking about figure form. We're talking about design, movie design. Now the alien eggs and the face hugger. I'm guessing they're going to be underneath it. I'm not guessing they're 100% underneath it. So let's get this alien out of the way so we can take a look at the rest of the accessories. All right, I had a little look and there's one complaint I have about this figure or sorry, the, one of these accessories is what I meant to say. But before we get into that, let's take a quick look at all of these. So we've got this face hugger. Here, I think I can fit this around the 112 figure. I don't have any um, sort of alien 112 figure, so I have to get like like a Ghostbusters one or a Star Wars one. Hopefully, what well, I can get one to fit. Hopefully, it's a wide tail and these fingers will bend without breaking. This face hugger is very well detailed. This is the first, no, second 112 face hugger I've had. Or, I don't know, I think the, I think the, the other, because um, the other big chap I bought from NECA had, a, had this, but I think the legs weren't 
didn't look as accurate because the, I don't know, I don't know, like, the way these parts were, they're, like, more, like, next to these ones, I don't know, hopefully I'm making sense, here is the display base, when I watched the nice video on it, or sort of, or some of his videos, he said that the display base is terrible because, like, the logo is not accurate, I don't really see it because I, you probably ha I haven't looked at the Alien logo in a while, but I don't really care about the display base. This open egg looks different on the box. Basically, it looks like there's no, like, like dip inside of it. If, for example, you can't, there's no, like, I don't know, there's not a deep hole like it is here. It's not a deep hole, but it's a deeper hole. And also, very disappointing. This chest burst looks a bit more accurate on the box here. Like, you can see the mouth. It's not much blood, just like the movie. What you're getting, it ain't quite it. This is the worst chest burst I've ever seen. Like, you can't even tell there's a mouth there. Where's this? Honestly, don't like it at all. But closed egg, really cool. Neko, uh, I don't know when they're going to release this, but Neko doing an Alien Romulus sort of um, accessories pack. And they, there is, in that pack, there is some chest bursters with, like, proper, like, arms, which are, like, sculpted. Like, a bit like these sort of fingers on the alien, uh, from the face hugger coming out. Proper, you can see the teeth, everything like that. They are probably some of the best... 112 or whatever scale small chest brushes I've ever seen so I'm excited to get those in the future but this one is definitely one of my worst anyway let's get all the accessories out and the figure so we can take a closer look at him and everything he comes with all right ladies and gentlemen I've got all his accessories out plus the figure and let's take a look at them so this really feels like a hot toys review it really does this feels like a 112 hot toys figure it, it, that's how good this figure really is this figure feels really nice so here's some hands here's the tow hook cable I'm not gonna change this out because I just don't want to I just don't really think I need to but if you really want him display like he's gonna be like shot out of the uh, ship He's got the cable stuck inside of him. Now, these inner mouths, I'm not going to try all of them. Just, I'll try, I'm going to try all of them. I think they will look cool. So we've got the one where it's inside of his mouth. I think that's going to be kind of cool. Here's the one where it's sort of extending out. And then here's the one where it's covering acid. In fact, I might not try this one because it's just going to look the same with this one, but with acid. But yeah, I might, if I if I need to for a pose, I'm not going to do too many poses with this. I think I'll just do one or two. I don't know. Um... I might switch out the hands, but now let's talk. So, chest buster here, I really don't really like, I don't like this one. Like, okay, uh, um, the, bo the body looks really good here, I like it. Um, I love the blood here, it's really cool. But when you move up to the head, yeah, the dome looks quite cool here. But you look over to the face, there's just no face, no paint in the mouth. It just doesn't look that good, to be honest with you. But I can't say the same about this face hugger. This face hugger looks amazing. I don't think that top tail is wide, but it doesn't matter. I love the detail on that, it looks incredible. And the detail under, it, under here looks even better. Look at that. It is crazy. Uh, quickly, display base here. Yeah, we get this thing. I don't think you're going to need it unless you're doing some crazy pose. I want to do the pose on the box here. It's sort of crouching down. I may need the um, display base, but probably not. And something I did not expect. This is a bag here. I think this is supposed... Uh, this is included to put spare accessories in, which is kind of crazy. I usually just put them back in the box, but this is crazy I, i've never seen this with a figure now these eggs are incredible they feel they don't feel cheap and nasty they got some weight to them i think there's a weight down here and i i when i was looking at this off camera i was kind of like over the mood about this and surprised it looks like there's slime right there it's not but it looks like sculpted slime there just like in the movies where the eggs are about to open you know eggs are very slimy in the movie and inside there's a lot of like goo and stuff you can see it let's pick it up on camera with the flash you can sort of see it sort of reflecting it looks absolutely incredible i cannot believe that this figure wow mezco uh i've, I've underestimated mezco, mezco i need to buy more stuff from them i'm not gonna lie and now we got the open version of the egg which looks really cool the detail looks great in there and yeah but because of the goo and stuff, I prefer the closed one. Now, here we go. This is a really cool addition. Uh, it looks like the face hugger is on someone's face. Oh, and looks a lot of the wetness in there. But I don't really think it's... I don't know. I, no, I don't really think it's going to really fit on someone's face. I'm not sure if it's meant to. I know the one they're doing for the Alien Romulus sort of accessory pack. That one is supposed to go on someone's face because... In for one of the promo pictures, there is a picture of the face I've got on one of the figures' face. So I just have to, you know, wait for that to, uh, to see what that looks like. But I don't think this is going to fit on someone's face. I don't really want to try because these fingers feel like they're going to break. But yeah, this is, this is going to be interesting to display. I might just put it around just for a fun accessory. I don't know. It looks like it's, it's, you know, sort of like gripped onto someone invisible or something. 
But I guess it's a cool accessory. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I do stand corrected. I, I'm actually recording this clip after finishing finishing the entire video. Yeah, I said earlier that you probably can fit this on the face. You probably could fit this on a character. Well, you could. You can. Um, actually, you can wrap it around. Hopefully, it doesn't break when I get it off. But it's sort of on this character here, or Mayfield. I actually did a video on this. This is a Star Wars figure. It's basically the character from Mandalorian Season 2, 1 and 2. Mayfield in the um sort of... Uh, trooper tank trooper outfit it fits so it will fit on figures probably figures with like really long hair and stuff or thick hair it might not fit but it does it does work i did stand corrected i do apologize for that guys but at least i tested it on something so i wouldn't look like a, look like a complete idiot when you guys were commenting but yep you can do it now let's take a look at the big chap himself so this is amazing like we took we start with the head okay so the head is very detailed, I love like the inner sort of dome, underneath the dome, it, the detail is incredible, I, I love it, I love the skull there, you can sort of see it. What I like about it is, you can only really see it when it's kind of a light in the room. I will turn off the flash later so you can see what I mean, because in the movie you don't really see them really like this, you, you see them like when it's really dark. It looks amazing, the mouth, apparently the mouth is very ac more accurate than the other ones I had, or the most accurate mouth, which is really really cool, I like that. And I've had so much rubber on this. This is rubber? Oh my goodness. And there's the hoses on the back as you can see. Look at the detail on these. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. It's crazy. This is all sculpted plastic here. But down here, it's rubber. So I'm hoping this doesn't deteriorate over time. It probably will though. But I, right now, it looks great. Wow, this is definitely the best 80 pounds I've ever spent in my life, I think. Best alien figure. Look at the rubber near the butt. And down here, on the tail, the tail bends really easily as well. And look, look, these bristles here are all rubber. It is incredible. Um, the tail bends really easy, like I just said. And the detail is absolutely incredible. This is this is all sculpted plastic, but this is all rubber here. You, you can, it's so squishy. It's amazing. I'm so happy you don't have to install the hoses. Because my really big one, they, they, feel like they, they feel like they're super loose and stuff, but this one doesn't. This is definitely, this is my third Alien Big Chat review, probably my final one, because I don't think they can ever beat this figure. But I want to just try and um, switch out the mouthpieces. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put, put in the little one. I'll quickly as well, when you open the mouth, you can sort of see, I think that's where you um, put the mouths in, or the inner jaws. It should go in really easily. I really hope they're easy to take out, especially the small one. Well, I will find out. All right, I turned the flash off and put the inner jaw in. This is the small one. Usually with these figures, um, like the NECA ones, like the inner jaws can go, they sort of like pop out, like on a mechanism, mechanism they go in and come out. Uh, but just like the Alien Queen, it will go in the mouth and connect in there. So you don't get a really little one with it where it looks like, you know, like um, it's about to come out of his mouth and it's all the way in his mouth, unfortunately. But for me, I don't really mind. Maybe for some of you guys, you may mind. But this is the smallest one that you get. But, yeah, you can sort of see, because there's no flash, it's so much harder to see that dome. And that's what I like. It makes it more creepy. The figure looks way more creepy like this. It is, wow. Um, I'm probably not going to put the slimy in the jaw one in yet. I want to leave that to the end of the video when I put in my final pose or one of the poses. With non-hot toy figures, a lot of the joints get weak over time. And if you repose them, they may flop a bit. So I just want to get them to one pose just to be sure um, that, that does not happen. But this is... Probably, I would say, the best alien figure I've ever owned, definitely. Alright, after playing with this figure for quite a while, ladies and gentlemen, I figured out a few more uh, little details or things about this figure. I love that they try to make this figure as seamless as possible, and all these joints are all rubber, like, it's all rubber. You don't see the joints because when you bend them, they are rubber, so they probably have less range of motion because of that, but... Is, is that a good sacrifice? A hundred percent. I tried, this is the best I could get the pose, um, you know, the way he's sort of like looking down. I just felt like that for my particular version, didn't like, I could get him too much lower than this, the way he's sort of like standing up or crouching. I think this is the best I could do. I made a little display here, as you can see like the face hug is coming out of the egg or something about the pounce. Uh, I turned the chest burst around so you can't see his sort of very bad sort of mouth. It, it, the chest burst is, you know, going to hide, whatever. Then that's a dead face hug, and then you got the uh, awesome egg. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Let's talk about this pose. Yeah, I think this, this pose is quite well done. I think I, I think it's good. I think it looks great. Obviously, at the end of the video, I am going to turn off the uh, flash so we can have a proper, like, more realistic look, should I say, for the alien. Um, I think that will be a lot better. 
because as you know in the movies or whatever you can barely see the creatures half of the time and oh god the face yoga really is <laughs> falling off there i think this is the best i could do with it cr it crouching down i might in between cuts have a little um another go but i'm gonna put in I, re I really want to use the um sort of like acid mouth but before i do that i want to turn the flash off so we can get a proper look at this figure without the flash to get better or more creepy feel to the figure the very acid sort of inner jaw in why not going to keep this uh inner jaw in as much as i really like it i think it's a very unique item i've never really, i've never really seen this with an alien figure before i just feel like with big chap simpler is more with this figure just because of the way the movie's like you know you don't really get hit in any dynamic poses i think it would, it would look really cool in some dynamic poses but number one the joints uh scare me because of how weak they will might become a bit like neckers do number two i just feel like Something simple like this is just better. Um, with the Hot Toys one, I will try and do some cooler, more dynamic poses if they make... Um, I think they're going to. I think I've heard rumours there's definitely going to be an alien Rom Romulus um, Xenomorph from the movie Hot Toys figure. If I do that, we'll, I will try a few more different poses. But this is definitely my favourite pose from the aliens. I love the way they like crouch down like this. They look very intimidating. Definitely probably going to try this pose with the Hot Toys figure. But what I've done is this little hole here where you're supposed to put the stand. I'm not sure. Do they make the stand um, compatible for this sort of like hold grip thing and his sort of foot? Because it kind of seems like it. I'm not sure if it's fully pushed in or it isn't fully pushed in. I might have to do that. Um, but it works and he won't move. I don't, I don't think it was intended though for you to fully for you to do this because this was this would be pointless but well i i've done it anyway so if it damages the foot a little bit um it's worth it because he looks look way more cleaner and i'm not going to be really display not sorry i'm not going to be um changing this pose or really doing anything with it so but let's take a look here as you can see um looking really really good i really like that sort of acidity in the jaw it's awesome i love the rubber on the figure it is great with hot toys it's scary with rubber um, because of it, it cracking over time, but hopefully this one doesn't do it. It probably will, but well, I'm used to that with hot toys now. It's, I'll enjoy this figure while it lasts in this pose. I really love. I can't get over. I can't stop recording this awesome sort of inner sort of skull. I just I can't I can't stop. It's just amazing. It's so creepy. It is so awesome. And the uh, Xenomorph in the um, Rumbless movie had a cracked dome, and Neko are doing that. Hopefully, hot toys do that. I want to see what a cracked dome looks like in one six scale but yeah let me know guys what you think of this figure this is definitely my favorite alien figure i've ever owned it is amazing super accurate to the movie in my opinion one more look at that sort of oozing sort of acid jaw anyway um yeah i i just think this is awesome if you want to check out the other big chap reviews i've done on the channel make sure to go check them out i would compare this one to the other small one i've got but I really don't feel like getting out of the collection, really. Or maybe I should. Mm, I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll think about it while I'm putting all these, all these accessories back in the box. All the ones I want to put back in the box. Mostly these hands. I'll keep this little chest blaster out. Why not? I won't punish you for uh, Mezco's uh, laziness, Mr. Chest blaster. I'll keep you out. I'll keep you out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, decide, I decided to do a comparison between the Mezco Big Chap and Egg Face Hugger and Chest Burster, whatever, and the NECA version. So let's take a look at the NECA version of the Chest Burster and the Mezco version of the Chest Burster. So this is the NECA, NECA Chest Burster. Looks really awesome. The sculpting arms there looks really cool. The blood looks really cool. And there's a sculpting mouth and teeth. Looks absolutely awesome with a bendy wire tail. I'm pretty sure. I think this is a bendy wire tail. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I think it is. This one, though, a lot smaller. The, I do like the detail on the blood, but the face is so lazy. I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, I'm sorry, Mezco, but I give the win to Necker for the chest buster. Now, with the face hugger. So the face hugger here looks really, really cool. Love the detail. 
Um, if I take it off, I don't know, how do I get this off? It's kind of stuck. Here we go. Um, it looks really, really cool. Love the detail. Oh, goodness. And this is meant to represent a dead face hugger. But I just feel like this one is better. I just slightly like the detail slightly more. I don't know, actually. The underneath looks better because this is a live face hugger. So I can't really compare the bottom. This is meant to be a dead one. What paint do I like better on, on the top? I might have to give it to Mezco. I can't tell you on this one. I, I, I don't know. A tie, because I think they both look great. Now, the egg is obviously Necker. As much as this closed egg looks awesome, this big one here, or this Necker one, looks a lot better in my opinion, because I love the detail up here and sort of the sort of wiggly, wormy floor here. So I feel like the accessories are sort of slightly better than the Necker one. That's why I really bought it. But the comparison you guys have been waiting for is the Necker versus the Mezco. Now, the, Me the Necker's paint. Well, the Mezco's one looks more black. I think that's more accurate. Uh, you can see the browns on it. I just, I just think the Mezco one blows this one to crap. Like, it's, oh goodness. Well, uh, it's okay. As much as I like this one, when I look at this one, then this one, I don't like this one anymore. The only reason I really bought this is for the egg, and I'm happy I did. I think the egg is worth the price um, alone. It looks good. The dome is kind of misty white, which is kind of accurate to the movie in some scenes, but that's the lighting. You can't really see that, that hit the face very well, and it just, I don't feel like it looks as good quality, and it, it, it just doesn't look as good. But I just realised one thing, yeah, this, this, I think this is, uh, slight, yeah, the Necker one is slightly bigger and everything. This, you get more accessories with it, plus a better looking alien. So let me know, guys, what would you rather, the better, better looking alien here with the extra accessories, or the better looking egg with the better looking chest buster, uh, with the Necker alien? What would you pay for? Honestly, this would be, I would pay for this any day of the week. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of this figure. Anyway, I'll catch you in another review, figure preview or short.